Hello, this is Billy Core. Um, this is a, for now at least, this is just a Facebook exclusive video. Um, it's, uh, what is it? It's Tuesday, July 10th of 2012, and this just arrived here today, this morning. It's the, uh, it's a new computer I bought. Well, a new computer, it's a refurbished one. It, it's an older Dell Optiplex 330 Mini Tower from around uh, 2007, 2008. It's, um, it has two gigs of RAM, an 80 gigabyte hard drive, and a two gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. Um, I bought this computer so I could have a good computer out here in my office to run my computer repair business. And so let's go ahead and get this open. Got the address covered up here. Okay. Package very well. This came all the way from California, Los Angeles to be exact, so had a good ways to go. Forget what operating system this is, but I want to put Windows 7 on it, but only two gigs of RAM. Um, whatever's on it, unless it is already, I'm gonna put Windows XP Professional on here until I can upgrade the RAM a little bit. I also have a 250 gigabyte hard drive coming for this thing, possibly tomorrow or Thursday. I, well, I almost cut myself there. Alright, this end. Whoever shipped this I used a lot of tape. not good because this is not my knife, it's my dad's. And I think he's had this for many, many years and I just broke it. Uh, hope I don't get in trouble. I'll just tear the rest of it open here. Okay. A lot of packaging peanuts. A lot of bubble wrap too. Boy, this is going to be messy. Oh, well. There we go. Here's the computer, now let's get it up on the workbench. Okay, here's the computer. It's an Optiplex 330. Got, looks like we got a DVD-ROM up here. At least I think it is, it doesn't say anything. A DVD-RW drive down here. Spot for a floppy drive, which I will be adding. A Dell emblem. 
Intel Core 2 Duo and Windows XP. Not sure that's still on there or not, but we'll see when we boot it up later. A few little scuffs and dings on it. But nothing horrifying. Turn it around. Yeah, power supply. A sound card. And it looks like the microphone is a combination mic and line in. I've never seen one of those before. Ethernet. We've got about one, two, three, four, uh, six uh, USB ports. Uh, VGA, but this has a, a third party adapter installed in it. Parallel port, a serial port, the graphics card, which I believe is an ATI 256 megabyte, and some expansion slots. And I was hoping to open this computer up and do a little work in it, but now I'm too scared to because the seller of this computer put a warranty protection on it. So if anything goes wrong and I break that, I'm screwed. <laughs> so uh, let's, I'll see if I can get it hooked up and we'll fire it up. Okay, I've run into a small problem. I was hoping to use this really, really nice graphics card that came with it. But my DVI cable doesn't fit this port. It looks like one, but the connections are all different. Can somebody tell me what's gone wrong here? Well, here it is in its permanent home. And unfortunately, since I don't have that weird video cable, I'm going to have to use the crappy, hor horrifying onboard Intel graphics instead of the nice ATI card. So, oh well. So, so let's uh, power it up. It's the first boot, by the way. Haven't done anything to it. Right. There we go. That's a good sign. I probably should have. Oh boy, that's not good. Attention. System halted. Unsupported video configuration detected. This computer has an add-in graphics card, but the monitor cable is plugged into the integrated... Oh, no big deal. We'll just have to go to the BIOS and get that straightened out. Now why won't it... Oh, it's going to force me to use that graphics card which I don't have a cable for. Oh, that's not good. Hold on, i got to figure out what to do. Uh, I had really hoped I wouldn't have to do any maintenance to it on, the, on its first day, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to take this video card out because of the strange um, connect is something I've never seen before so I'm just gonna have to use the crap onboard graphics so um, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and take it out and figure while I got it open I might as well show what it looks like on camera and yes I did break the seal so if anything goes wrong with it I'm in deep deep trouble It's only an 80 gigabyte hard drive, but I got a 250 coming soon. Well, might as well go ahead and take the video card out. Be right back. Well, after much, much pain and much, much sorrow, I finally got the um, video card out of it. Here it is right here. It's probably a good video card if it wasn't for that weird adapt, that weird connector. It's an ATI 102. No, that's probably not the model number. Anyway, uh, take two. And hopefully, we'll get further this time. I wonder what operating system's on here. Ah, oh, Windows XP. One of my all time favorites. I imagine there'll probably be video driver issues since I switched to the onboard, but I'll get that taken care of in no time. Okay, 
Come on, focus, focus. Of all times not to focus. This is not a good time not to focus. Yep. Sound works. And there are indeed a few little um, video driver issues here and there, looks like. It says found new hardware. Oh. Uh, maybe if, it ha if internet's working, maybe it can find something on Windows Update. Don't have my hopes up though. But if not, no big deal. I can just get it off Dell's website. That's, that's what I. That's why I've, that's one of the ma many reasons why I've always been a pretty big fan of Dell. No matter how old your product is, no matter what your product is, more than likely you will be able to find software and drivers for it on Dell's website. Okay, cannot install this hardware, uh, no big deal. Okay. Okay, keyboard works. I had to use a PS2 to USB converter. Internet works. Just gonna have to go to Dell's website and see. And and I do not live in Fairfield, North Carolina, and I, I'm not sure if I really do trust the um, AC repair service. And the video is looking a whole lot better now. I got the um, driver installed. I had to change my name for some reason. It thought I was called JJ. <laughs> I also had to change the time zone. It was set to Pacific, but I set it to Eastern. My name's not A either. <laughs> Two gigs of RAM. Nice manager. So the graphics. The network adapter and sound. It turns out that top drive is actually a CD drive, not a DVD drive. We have to replace that sometime. Eighty gigs, not a very big drive. Well, I guess that'll do it for now. Um, I might do more of this computer later. Billy Gore signing off.